Henry and the Elephant Henry and Gordon were lonely when Thomas left the yard to run his branch line. They missed him very much. They had more work to do. They couldn't wait in the shed till it was time and find their coaches at the platform. Oh no, they had to get the coaches themselves, and they didn't like that. And then one day a circus came to town, and the engines soon forgot that they were tired. They all wanted to shunt the special trucks and coaches, and they were dreadfully jealous of James when the fat controller told him to pull the train when the circus went away. However, they soon forgot about the animals as they had plenty of work to do. One morning, Henry was told to take some workmen to a tunnel which was blocked. He grumbled away and found two trucks to carry the workmen and their tools. And he pushed the trucks along the line and muttered to himself, Pushing trucks, pushing trucks, Pushing trucks, <laughs> pushing trucks. <laughs> they came to the tunnel and stopped outside. They tried to look through it, but it was quite dark. No daylight shone from the other end. The workmen took their tools and went inside. Suddenly, they all shouted, Oh! 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 <laughs> and they came running out of the tunnel. The foreman was outside the tunnel having a cup of tea, and they said to him, Look, we went to the blockage and started to dig it away, but it grunted and moved. And the foreman said, Go on, get out of it. That's rubbish. No, it isn't rubbish. It's big and alive, and we're not going in there again. So there. And the foreman said, All right then, I'll go in. I'll ride in a truck, and Henry shall push this here blockage out of the way. And Henry said, <laughs> He hated tunnels. He'd been shut up in one once, and this was worse. There was something big and alive inside the tunnel. Henry said, I, I don't want to go in. And Henry's driver said, Well, neither do I, Henry, but we must. We've got to clear the line. No. Come on, Henry, there's a good lad. And Henry puffed slowly into the dark, dark tunnel. Shh, 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 shh. Oh, dear. Shh, shh. Oh, dear. Shh, shh. Oh, dear. Shh. Oh, what's that? Henry had bumped into something enormous. Henry's driver shut off steam at once. What is it, Henry? Oh, I, I don't know, but I can't move it. It's moving me. It's pushing me backwards. Oh, And slowly out of the tunnel came first Henry, then the trucks, and last of all, pushing hard and rather cross, came a 
big elephant. The foreman said, Well, I never. <laughs> It's an elephant from the circus. Henry's driver put on his brakes, and a man ran to telephone for the keeper. The elephant stopped pushing and came towards them. They gave him some sandwiches and cake, so he forgot he was cross and remembered he was hungry. He drank three buckets of water without stopping and was just going to drink another one when Henry let off steam. <laughs> That frightened the elephant. It went whoosh and squirted the water all over Henry by mistake. Poor Henry. He didn't like that at all. The elephant's keeper came and took him away. And the workmen jumped into the trucks, laughing at their adventure. And Henry pushed them home, hissing to himself. An elephant pushed me. Shh, shh, shh. An elephant whooshed me. Shh, shh, shh. An elephant pushed me. Shh, shh, shh. An elephant whooshed me. Shh, 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 shh. In the shed, He told Gordon and James about the elephant. And I'm sorry to say that instead of laughing and telling him not to be silly, they looked sad and said, Oh, you poor engine. Oh, you have been badly treated, haven't you? Hmm?